नमस्ते डियर व्यूअर्स डू यू एंजॉय वॉचिंग अर एनिमेटेड इतिहासा वीडियोज काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल इतिहासा सीरीज एंड शेयर द वीडियो विथ योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स वी आर ऑल्सो ऑन फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम एंड ट्विटर विद द सेम आई डी यू कैन फॉलो अस देयर टू द लिंक्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लेट अस नो योर व्यूज एंड सजेशंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो Invaders came, looted, plundered, and pillaged our nation, temples, and towns. Weren't the kings who could stand up to these invaders? Lamented a school student, closing her textbook. A grandmother calmly answered, "There were many heroes who put the fear of the gods in invaders. Recently, our prime minister laid the foundation stone of Maharaja Suhail Dev Memorial in Bahraich. Do you know about Suhail Dev?" I have not heard about him grandma the student said that is why i ask you to read newspapers regularly said grandma welcome to itihasa series taking you to your roots every generation is a bridge it needs to pass on collected wisdom from the past to the younger generation let's get informed and inspired by itihasa in the year 1026 Mahmud of Ghazni and his barbaric hordes attacked India repeatedly. They plundered and destroyed one of the holiest Jyotirlingas at Somnath. What is rarely ever mentioned is that Mahmud of Ghazni had a nephew called Salar Masood. Salar Masood saw his uncle's massive loot from across the Sindhu River and started dreaming about a pillaging expedition to India as much of a religious zealot as his uncle and if religious bigotry can also bring wealth why not His uncle Mahmud of Ghazni had anyway weakened many kingdoms in India's north and northwest I can walk over all these tired and divided kingdoms he thought but unknown to him anger was brewing in some kings in india at the insult to one of the holiest places one of the angry indian kings was raja suhail dev who ruled a relatively small kingdom shravasti meanwhile salar masood fought and defeated kings in delhi and punjab and moved towards meerut where the king surrendered and accepted islam He marched through Kannauj and Malihabad too and arrived at Satrik in Barabanki. There is a place in Bahraich called Suraj Kund which is famous as a place for the worship of Surya or the sun. Salar Masood tried to destroy this place just as his uncle had earlier destroyed Somnath. This angered an already livid Raja Suhail Dev. He may not have had a mighty army that Salar Masood had, but he had the intelligence to unite different kings. He wrote to many kings and appealed to them to stand up against the invader who was out to destroy Sanatana Dharma. As these kings came together to attack Salar Masood, the sight of the united army gave Masood cold feet. He resorted to playing some dirty tricks. He planned to put cows in front of his army, thinking that the Hindu kings would attack the cows and hence would have to beat a retreat. Raja Suhail Dev's informers informed him about Masood's cowardly plan, but Raja Suhail Dev wasn't one to let such emotional blackmail weaken him. But he wasn't one. to hurt the cows either so he found a smart way out he cut the cows free in the dead of the night and sealed salar masood's fate on the day of the battle salar masood along with his army had a wicked smile when the war began the united army of indian kings charged and the cows ran away leaving salar masood's army unguarded His false confidence sunk and Salar Masood witnessed the fury of the Indian kings. Without knowing the way out, Salar Masood was escaping the battlefield and Raja Suhail Dev was in hot pursuit, spitting fire from his eyes, holding swords in both hands. 
by the time he got the Salar Masood, Raja Sukhail Dev saw that another great king, Raja Hoja, had already given Masood his just desserts. We will bring you the story of Raja Bhoja in our coming episodes. United Army of Indian Kings, united by the visionary Raja Sukhail Dev, routed the army of the invaders. No prisoners were taken and all the aggressors were put to the sword. The story of Masood's gory end spread like wildfire and for the next century or so, invaders shuddered to even look towards India. Muslim sources too mention no further raids of Ghaznavids.